Hello fellow woodworkers, welcome to this week's edition of the Garage Workshop with our June channel update. Roll the intro. So as I like to do in these videos, I thought I'd give you just a little bit of an update on how the channel is growing. And of course, all of this is thanks to your fantastic support. So if this is your first time, please subscribe, like, and comment. But I just wanna say a massive thank you to the audience out there that are watching my content every week. I've got a lot more subscribers than I ever thought I'd get. And in fact, this month I've added 22 subscribers, taking me to a little bit over 970. And obviously my target for the channel now is a thousand subscribers, which would be amazing. I've had about 4,500 views this um, month, which is about the same as I normally get. But the thing that has increased is the amount of watch time, which has gone up to 661.5, which is quite a lot more. I produced quite a few different videos this month. If you haven't had a chance to look at my uh, videos this month, I've uploaded four videos. The first was on uh, a metal box, which I was particularly proud about. I think I still think that goes down as one of the best things that I've made in the garage workshop. That was my first video. And then my massive Timu uh, tool haul review, which um, has got over 600 video uh, views of the video. But more importantly than that, I had lots of good feedback from you about that. And also it had a lot of views very, very early on. I have to admit, I do like those little haul uh, videos. I know everyone on YouTube's doing them, but I really enjoy doing them. And I have got another one coming up this time it's from Wish, and that will be released in the next, probably next two or three weeks. Very similar to the t but I'm going to go a little bit out of the box this time, uh, even more out of the box than a drill-operated uh, chainsaw. Uh, my other two videos, one was the laying box, which um, was quite a long uh, video and got a lot of views, over 740 views for that. And this week's video, which was a tool review on 3D printed woodworking accessories. Now, I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone that's watched that. And even if you don't have access to a 3D printer, I actually thought it was quite an interesting video, which is why I chose to make it as that content. But <clears throat> if you do have access to a 3D printer, then there might be some really helpful tips in there. So it's been a very, very good month for the channel. Again, thanks for all of your support. Now, let's have a look at some of the things that I've been watching on YouTube recently. Okay, so in last month's video, I asked for a little bit of feedback on uh, different things in the channel. And actually, one of the things that I got some feedback that perhaps doesn't go down as well is just my review of other YouTube channels. Now, I'm not promoting anybody, that's not my role, but the only reason I include these videos is if, like me, you watch a lot of YouTube channels that are woodworking based, I'm not sure that you'll cover the range in the same way that I can. So I just think a couple would be good. So what I've done in this month's video is I've just cut back on the amount of channels that I'm going to show you. But the three that I'm showing you now are ones that I've spent a lot of time looking at. One, I've become completely besotted with. And I'm going to show you it because I love it. Now, the other two channels that I'm going to show you are very, very standard basic woodworking channels, but I like them because they're not massive channels. Both of them have, you know, less than 100,000 subscribers. They're just really good quality content. And the first one is N Curtis or Ian Curtis. Now, this is just a really bog standard guy like many of us um, who makes lots and lots of different videos. And what I like about them is his videos are instructional, but he does other things around that. So a couple of the videos that I've been watching recently are ones around A, his channel, and B, some really good woodworking tips. He's got a video, uh, five tips YouTube woodworkers give that professionals hate, it was a really, really interesting video. And the, the channel is very easygoing style. It's an American-based channel, but I just really, really like it. So, N. Curtis, well worth a mention. I'll put a link to his channel in the description, but if you're in the mood for perhaps something a little bit different, he's definitely worth a shout. My first recommendation, N. Curtis. Now, my second recommendation comes very close to my own heart. I think, as many of you know by now, get ready to take your seats. I am not a professional woodworker, far from it. My actual day job is completely different. I have the pleasure of working with children in the day 
and this guy, uh, the Cow Dog Craft Works, is very similar. He's an attorney. He does that during the day and at night and at weekends. He's very similar to me. He makes really, really good woodworking content. Now, unlike me, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, unlike me, he really does make some quality things. And when you search through his channel, there are lots and lots of different videos. Some of them are very conversationally talking about problems or about how to use tools and others are genuine build videos. He's got a really, really nice style. I've got to be careful not to keep saying really, really. So he's got an excellent style, uh, which I really like, and I've watched quite a few of his videos now. Now, both of these channels that I've mentioned, Ed Curtis and uh, Cow Dog Craftworks, interestingly, both have a lot of subscribers. I think uh, Ed's got like 40,000 and Cow Dog Craftworks has got about 15,000, but I have got more videos on my channel than these guys, which I thought was quite interesting because obviously I produce weekly content and not all of them do, but obviously the quality is a lot better than mine, I get that, but there is things for you to dip in and dip out of. So I reckon if you've got a few minutes, give it a go, see if you like it. I watched one video and like most things, I thought, oh, I'll watch another. And then before I knew it, I'd gone halfway through his video. So my second recommendation for you, Cow Dog Craft Works. Now, my last recommendation has got to come with a disclaimer. I found this channel completely by accident. I was actually watching another video from another channel, neither of the ones I've talked about today, and this came across, and I am so glad it did. I am addicted to this channel. It's called Perkins Builder Brothers. Now, if you don't know it, it's two American brothers who run their own construction company, but that's side by side with a very active YouTube channel. And I watched the first video, which was when they sort of built a house in the middle of nowhere on a hill, and it was multi-part, and I've just fallen in love with the channel. There's over 500 videos on this channel, and at the moment, I've probably watched about 100 of them. Um, and at the moment, I'm working my way through uh, a duplex. They build a complete duplex. It's a great group of guys that they've got working for them. And what I like about it is it's part instructional video, so they show you a lot of uh, techniques and a lot of the tips and things they do, but they also show you the entire process from start to finish. And like most American homes, they're very, all the homes are built in a very sort of simplistic way, but the way these guys build and put things together is brilliant. I love the camera work. There's lots of uh, talking to the camera, lots of explanation, but they are never, ever boring videos. And I'm just glad that I've only watched about 100 and there's a lot more to go. I mean, this duplex series that I'm just finishing now, I think has got about 20 uh, parts to it. And each part, about sort of 15, 20 minutes, but really it just goes in an instant. Really interesting. And the other thing I like about it is the projects that are on it are very different. He's got very small projects that you could do at home compared to these sort of mega builds that take a long, long time that they do as sort of um, business or customers for the business. I would recommend this channel more than any of the other channels that I have recommended on YouTube. It's not just going to give you instruction. It does but it's just a really interesting way to while away the hours. So again, a big recommendation for Perkins Brothers Builders. A link in the description, try, try it, check it out. I promise you will not regret it. So lastly in this month's little workshop update is of course, a set of little middle of little bargains. Now I picked the leaflet up today uh, and all of these items will be in sale, uh, on sale in stores from the 9th of July. So it's a week on Sunday. So by the time you watch this video, which hopefully will be Monday, they are coming up. And the reason that I've picked this one is I'm very excited to say that the much loved, and if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know how much I love it. The much loved Parkside plunge saw is back. This plunge saw, let me just get it up. This plunge saw is hands down the best piece of kit I have bought for the workshop. And again, it's another revision of the Parkside plunge saw that I got last year. It is an amazing piece of kit. It does a lot of the things that much, much more expensive plunge saws do. It's very, very easy to use. It's powerful enough 
for most of the average wood workers. I think if you're a professional carpenter or joiner, obviously you'll have a Festool or something like that. But it is a really, really quality piece of kit. I've used it in lots and lots of my videos. If you've seen any of my videos or you've been following me for a while, you'll know I always mention how much I love this saw. But it is the, it's got to the point where I would not consider buying another saw. I mean, if I became a millionaire overnight and I had hundreds of thousands of pounds, then I might inv invest in a Festool one. But for me, this does everything that the average woodworker would need, the amateur woodworker. It's been held on price as well, which was a nice thing to see because these everything has gone up and these tools in particular from Parkside Very Little have really, really steadily gone up. Only little bits, not massive hikes, but just a little bit of adding on here and there. But the plunge saw is £79.99. In my book, worth it, absolutely worth it. And when mine is worn out or broken, I would definitely get another one. So my first recommendation for the middle of little picks is the much admired, much loved Parkside plunge saw. Now my second middle of little recommendation this week is the Parkside heat gun. Now the Parkside heat gun comes in two different uh, formats. You've got the plug-in version which is what this one is and it's priced at £14.99 and you've got the battery version. Now they're identical in terms of body shape. The only difference is literally one's got a battery in it and one you plug in. I've got this uh, heat uh, this Parkside heat gun and I've probably only used it three or four times but every time I've used it I've been so impressed with two key things. Number one it gets really hot which obviously for a heat gun you want it to and number two it doesn't take too much time to get hot, if you see what I mean. And I, I don't know, I'm not an expert in electricity, and I'm sure some of you could work out the kilowatt hour and how much that would cost. But the gun heats up really quickly, and it's a really nice build on it. It's not, it doesn't feel cheap and nasty. It feels like a bit of a substantial uh, piece of equipment. And for 15 quid, I mean, 15 quid is like, you know, two coffees and a sandwich at Starbucks, isn't it? It's absolutely nothing in terms of money. It's not something that I use every day, and you probably won't either, but it is something that it's handy to have in the drawer because A, you never know when you're going to need it, and B, in the workshop, every now and then you'll come across and think, oh, I really wish I had one of those. Well, for £15, it's just literally worth buying it and putting it in the drawer. So that's my second recommendation for this week is the Parkside heat gun. So the next recommendation, the last one this week, is the Parkside Sanding Assortment. Now, I've got loads of these lying around the workshop. I've got the uh, aluminium oxide one uh, here, which is for sanding uh, wood. Uh, it says wood, but I use it for sanding metal. And I've got the uh, flint one here, which is uh, 60 grit. They do them in all different shapes and sizes all different formations. I've got another one here, another wood sanding one, and this one is 80 grit. So they do them in lots and lots of different shapes and sizes. They're very, very cost effective. £1.49 for each of the tubes. It's just worth having them around. I go through lots and lots of sandpaper and these ones, and they're not the greatest quality, no one's saying they are, but if you're using them infrequently, but you use a volume when you do use them, which is what I do, then they're well worth the money. I mean, £1.49 is not a lot of money, is it, for what is quite a substantial roll of sandpaper. In this sale, they've also got sanding blocks. I've got a couple of those. But if you pop into Lidl or you're in there next weekend, it's worth having a look at them, see if you like them and grab them. Each one... Uh, I should have said that, I'm not actually sure if it tells you right. Yeah, so each one is 115 mil wide, but there is five metres of sandpaper on there. And five metres, I think, is a huge amount. Now, at the moment, and I'm just going to check this is right before I tell you something wrong. So, at the moment, um, it's advertising a two for two pound deal on these when you buy them, meaning that you save yourself a pound. So for two, it'll only cost you two pound as opposed to two pound 98 that it would cost you otherwise. So well worth looking at if you're in the market for some sandpaper. And if not, for one pound 49, you might as well just buy some and chuck it in the drawer. So that's my final Parkside recommendation for this week. And lastly, fellow woodworkers, it's time for a little bit of audience participation. 
in the last couple of uh, blogs, I've asked you to give me your advice in the comments on a couple of different things, all of which has been really handy, thank you. But I have managed to save up a few shekels and I've got enough money that I can buy a routing table. Now, I think I've mentioned in previous videos, I did go to Maker Central and I spoke to the guys at Lumberjack about the possibility of them either sponsoring a video or giving me a unit at a lower price where I would do a review of it. Because on my channel, my two biggest videos are still my review of the Lumberjack Thicknesser Planer. Now, originally they said they would see if they could do something. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened. And I was just gonna buy the Lumberjack uh, router table on its own, do my own review and work that way. But unfortunately, the stock is currently out. And when I rang them in the week, they do not know when they've got more stock of the router table coming in. Now, I have got a bit of money saved, enough money that I can buy one. But I did think at this point, why not open it out to my subscriber base? Have you got any recommendations for a router, a router, a router table different to the Lumberjack one? Bearing in mind, I haven't got a fortune to spend and I have looked at other equivalents. But if any of you have got one or you've got a setup with a router and a separate table. I know Craig make one uh, and I know a couple of other companies do. Uh, I know, and I know they're out there, but I don't really wanna spend that amount of money or invest in it if no one has used one and I haven't used it because it's a very expensive thing to make a mistake on. So if you have any experience, please drop a comment, give me some advice in the box and see what you think. But if you have, and you really have had experience of the Lumberjack, also let me know about that. And as you saw in my Maker Central video, I got to see it in action. Unfortunately, I didn't get to have a play with it, but I, I, overall, I was quite impressed with what I saw. So any experience much needed, just drop a comment for me. Okay, that's the end of this week's uh, monthly workshop blog, fellow woodworkers. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please can ask you to subscribe, like and comment. I've got loads of videos for you to watch in my back catalogue, so make sure you check them out. If you are a regular, regular viewer, then thank you so much for your ongoing support. I cannot tell you how much it means to me, knowing every week you all tune in. You're really great at giving me comments, mostly really, really good feedback, all very well-deserved feedback but I do appreciate it. So also don't forget to like and comment. Have a great week, fellow woodworkers, and I'll catch you on next week's edition of the Garage Workshop. Take care.